shows at this shit. <laughs> okay, we'll have... We're getting there. We'll have Patreon, we'll have merchandise, we'll have everything. We're working on the Patreon. I already, already pitched merchandise to people on Twitch if anybody's streaming and listening to us. So, it will be up. As soon as the Patreon's up, we will have merch up. I don't know what kind of merch. I don't know why I'm doing this with my hands. But I will have something. But you know, I have decals, stickers, and, an, and it's, we're going to have four packs of, uh, it's a four pack of pins. So there'll be four different types of pin in one pack. You know, little pins that you just... Mm -hmm. So... I don't know. Well, awesome. Anyway. We're getting Hey, in. welcome to Couch on Fire Podcast. Huzzah! <laughs> All right, Alex. I saw something over the weekend, and, I, and I, we have to talk about this shit. What is it? What do we got, um, Rob? I was, I was reading on IGN's website, because for some reason, IGN's just it's where to go. <laughs> okay. And, and they, um, they announced that they're in Brooklyn, New York. They're gonna put a statue of Captain America. And first, I thought this was a fucking joke, because <laughs> I was like, "It's he's a comic book character." But it's supposed to rep. But they really are. They really are. And you know, they there's said a Rocky the reason Balboa statue in Philadelphia, right? So that well, that brings me to my next point. But before my before we get there, <laughs> it's just the fact that he's a comic book character now but but then i guess i didn't think about rocky Balboa. i thought about like all the musicians and stuff i didn't think about rocky that is true yeah there, there, there are a... all kinds of statues of fictional people all over the place lady well, justice yeah. the statue of liberty those are fictional characters i know that was just a gift <laughs> but this is i don't know maybe i don't know i just think it's weird i mean i understand so it's supposed to represent you know, he came from nothing, and he just was this great American icon that just did all this good stuff. And I understand that. And he was from Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it's just – but why stop there? I really – I, you know, there is uh, statues of Poseidon in many, many, many – there's actually, like, multiple um, statues of Poseidon. But the thing about Poseidon is people actually did believe in him. Mm -hmm. Do people? really believe in Captain America? Try, Not try the same point. way. <laughs> uh, you can believe in the idea of something without worshipping it. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, so, alright. Let's just, I say we go back to the roots. Why, why, why do we put statues of people or things up well, why would you think they do that why, why would you to if you had the money it? to commemorate a time or because there's other statues that are not people i mean look at the wall i mean i i, I that means a lot to us as americans because vietnam war i mean you know there's you know stuff like that i i understand um statues of people at the time, they seem great, but I, I, I don't, I'm not a huge, I don't know, I just think it's weird. Like, uh, it's cool, the Rocky Balboa statue, you know, that's the only thing going good for Philadelphia at that time. Um, as a Baltimore Ravens Whoa. fan, there's two, there's two, <laughs> there's two Ravens, oh, I'm, I'm going to take shots, it's fine, you can, it's okay, it's okay. Um, I love that. Rocky, dude, I love Rocky, don't get me wrong, and they actually moved it from the top to the side, by the way. Um. Because it was at the top of the stairs that he ran in the movie. I just, I don't know. What is your take on statues? Do you like <laughs> statues? Do you think they're pointless? Do you think they're, do you think they're good? I mean, you know, they're it's, putting a statue of a comic. It's art. It's, it's art. art. Art is almost a hundred percent symbol anyway. That's that's the crux of the idea, is mm -hmm. to give us uh, believable fictions that teach us stuff uh it, i don't know it, it, the whole thing is based on the symbol and a statue's just a different abstraction of that symbol i feel like if you look at like history i feel like you know times do change 
And I feel like at that time, people like right now, there's a statue of Ray Lewis. He was a Baltimore Ravens football player. It's at the stadium. Makes sense. He played for that stadium his whole career. And he likes that, you know, you know, and there's multiple football statues in different stadiums across the United States in America. Honestly, there's probably soccer statues and things like that. And I understand that it's like your hero. That famous Ronaldo like, statue. The, oh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. Um, well, just think. I mean, there's a, there's a, in front of, um, you know, the Colosseum in Rome, there was gladiator statues. Mm -hmm. They just worshiped these people because, you know, of the things that they did. But time, as times. Not necessarily yeah, just, worshiped. I don't know. Like, that's big to differ. Some people worship. I mean, have you seen Ray Lewis play? <laughs> Preach, you know. I mean, besides that, I, besides that, I killed someone in 1999. <laughs> you know what? He he was never accused of the murder. He was accused of being an accessory to the murder. Uh, and while he was implicated in that, he has found God and done good things. Uh, oh I, I, I that that incident changed Ray Lewis's trajectory forever, and like he, it put his whole life in perspective. And he's a great man now. You know, I agree with you 100. percent You know, um, Charles Manson he found God, and he changed his whole life around. Um, what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, just. What? Anyway, that was me being sarcastic. Um, okay. <laughs> Like we were saying, <laughs> the this, so the whole thing on the the whole thing on the statue. I like statues. I think they're great. Um, I know recently in the last year or so, there's been like people protesting statues, taking statue jobs and stuff like that. Um, which uh, it, it does. It doesn't really. Do I get upset by it? No. Um, is there a better way of doing it? Yes. Maybe not wrapping a rope around it and trying to pull it down with five of your drunk friends. But <laughs> there's a there's a safer way to handle that, sure. Yes, it's absolutely. Get the pickup trucks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I I would say so. This is this is my steps. So if there was a statue in my town, all right, maybe maybe like five, fifty years ago, it it was put there. It was supposed to represent a gentleman or a woman that did so much for this town, and we loved it. Then fifty five years later, we found out that this person was you know doing some shady stuff. And I would argue, okay, well, times have changed. We've learned from our mistakes. And that is a symbol now than it was before of our mistakes. So I think that instead of Part tearing of it down. the problem with that, a really unsettling number of, like, the General Lee Civil War statues specifically yeah. uh, were all erected in the 1960s in direct response to the Civil Rights Movement. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they want us the right way and do it right. They didn't. They didn't just drive a fucking truck over it. <laughs> like, uh, well, okay. So like the civil rights movement goes off, and uh, these all white towns respond by erecting these statues, as if to say, "Get the fuck out of here." Uh, okay. We already did this once. Get on. Yeah. Uh that's gross in the extreme uh, the statues and such erected around the time of the Civil War to commemorate the fallen on both sides uh, whatever generals there there was like two statues of Lee ever uh, from like <laughs> the end of the Civil War till the 1960s yeah. Uh, and then suddenly there's this prolific explosion of General Lee everywhere. It, it's very specific. While, yes, we should absolutely obey local laws, ordinances, and handle things uh, as close to within the system as possible, as often as possible, because things aren't shoved into disarray. Yeah. However, those statues' existence inherently b because of their spawning in the 1960s inherently throws other people's views and values into disarray in much mm -hmm. the same way 
So well, there, you know, there's value in trying, having failed, and then responding. Uh, but you got to make a really good argument. <laughs> you better be dead nuts on the rights about it. We might agree well, with you regardless, because you well, might like, have done a net positive by our current view. I just, I just feel and that's like okay. okay. Some of these statues represent our past, and obviously our past. Yeah. Our, America's America's past is fucking horrible. Yeah. I mean, it's blood. Columbus, Columbus Day was yesterday, and that was just a bad day. <laughs> like if you look at the history, of Columbus Day it was just a bad day. I mean, <laughs> you know. Did like, you know? But that Columbus's discovery of the Americas is actually why powdered wigs came into vogue at all during world history, especially European history. Those powder that? that powdered wig phenomena that everybody makes fun of the founding fathers for mm -hmm. uh, was a direct response of French and European royal families contracting syphilis, going That's mad okay. and bald which are late stage symptoms of advanced syphilis uh, and covering it up with those crazy fucking wigs. The first oh, powdered one, in fact, was a mistake for the tailor and he said, I don't even care, it's better than bald, and put it on. See, that's what we should have statues of. <laughs> there was some weird put moments. <laughs> uh, like... I mean, it just, it's just, it's just, I don't know, but... It's so it, that's, bizarre that's how things are interconnected like that sometimes, though. But now, I feel like... So, the, okay, so people are taking down these statues, okay? Um, so, they're taking down statues of, of our shitty past. Okay, I understand. But, imagine if we didn't have that shitty past. Where have you been now? Like, I hate to say we this, We wouldn't but, have like, that statue if we didn't have that shitty past? Is that what you're saying? What? You, no, you, no, I'm you saying... You sacrifice <laughs> no, millions no, of people I... for the sake of culture? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, you know... I actually, I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just... My, the, this is my... I, like, I don't want to step on toes to get into an argument with people. If you don't like, if you don't like the statue, you don't like what it represents, you know, talk to your, your congressman. Talk to whoever you need to talk to either then to take it down and remove it re remove it from where it's at and remove it i think all statues shouldn't be destroyed because it is part of history but i think they should be moved to a location where it's demo like you know like every state should have their own kind of museum about your state every state like if i go to missouri i can be like oh wow there's the history of missouri this this statue used to be in town hall but you know this guy killed a whole bunch of black people. So we put it in a museum. So, you know, it's still there because it is part of history. And this is how we've grown past that. But, I, you know, so I, so to me, this whole superhero thing in Brooklyn is just a publicity stunt. I think it's horrible. I think it's a shitty idea. Like, I, I really do. Like, I don't like this. He, I think, I think it's great. I mean, he was, you know, is it representing? And I know Philadelphians are probably going to crucify me i love rocky i do but deep down inside i just feel like do we have to have statues to represent people i mean sports people are pushing it i mean i'm a huge sports fan but am i gonna cry and be emotional when i see a statue of somebody i'd rather me remember him when i was alive or read about him or watch videos but you know i don't know we're just it's a, it's a weird expression time. of the same history yeah like so, and here, this is going to sound very hypocritical. After saying all this, I would still love to see a Poseidon statue. Just because I like Poseidon. Just because it'd be cool. Because it'd be like, man, imagine if he was this big. But then once I see it, it's like, it's done. Like, I don't know. So that's very hypocritical of me. <laughs> so you're telling me you've never seen a movie multiple times? I have. I've seen statues. Multiple times? Not, yeah, but I just want to see it in person. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't want to see the statue in person? And it's super yeah. local. Like, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you pitching yeah. that statues don't exist on the internet? <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. Dude, dude. So real quick, there's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch of statues, like near Brazil, underwater. Yeah. Do you? Do you? Have you seen pictures of that shit? 
It's crazy to me. Why is my baby dog yelping? Beer baby. You got the craziest. Yeah, if it's not me, it's you. If it's cast. not me, it's you. <laughs> I mean, do you do you guys agree? I mean, I know I'm dickish, and I don't like conflict. And obviously, these statues are just if they're hurting someone in some way, an emotional level, physical, then rip them. But do it in a right way. You don't have to cause a huge scene. You don't have to do it. And I understand. I am a privileged white male that lived in this United States. I understand that. And there's different cultures in this United States that don't like the history that we have. And then obviously, every, I mean, there's so many people that like it. But do you not agree with me that we need to take proper steps and move forward from this? Because it's just kind of like, hmm, I just... Aaron, I have hit, uh, maybe. It depends on what you said. Uh, okay. Aaron, I just hit a turning point in a relationship. Oh, God, here we go. Yeah, and it expressed itself now, and I'm happy about it. It's a totally positive one. Uh, so, like, around the time we first started doing this podcast, like, Aaron and I were weird of, about, like, how much time we needed with each other. Um... And what that was 16 weeks ago. Uh, now, uh, she got woken up from the nap. Uh, the the video people will have seen her uh, cross back, and nice. Uh, and I, I'm I'm bug eyed on the feed. Uh, for those listening or watching, not understanding why Rob can't see me, the answer is he can't. Technical difficulties and double routing of cameras. It's a problem in Windows. I. Th I think Linux has a fix for that if you need it. Uh, however, uh, so this Aaron video is brought to you by Linux. Always. <laughs> uh, it, hashtag not spawn. Not spawn. We have <laughs> I know. Actually, no, not spawn. Uh, sp yes, no sponsor. Uh, yet. Uh, so I go out there and I'm like, hey. I got this. She's like, I am so sorry that you had to even come out here. Wow. And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, she's going to get it later. Oh. Thumb. Two thumbs. <laughs> sorry. That was an inside joke. Um, <laughs> I guess I'm going to get it later for saying that out loud. Who knows? <laughs> Uh, she she might have some words for you on it. Okay, tell her I she's a scaredy cat and she needs to be on this podcast. People want to hear. She hear. streamed solo on this podcast on Twitch, but she needs to be on an episode of Couch on Fire podcast. How about that? Uh, uh, proper, yeah, she does. Yes, a proper episode. Yes. In case people don't know, um, we also on Twitch in our YouTube channel we do stream videos of family stuff and also mostly games it's gonna be games so it should be fun everybody's favorite uh, genre let's plays oversaturated <laughs> and irritating as shit dude it's it is well it's not i wouldn't <laughs> say it's irritating but it's definitely oversaturated i mean everybody every i mean i i spend i'm not gonna lie to you i spend probably about three hours every day of my life watching youtube videos of people play video games do you want to know what I do at work? If I'm not listening to like, uh, Couch on Fire podcast, <laughs> Lo-Fi Beats, no, I don't listen to our podcast. <laughs> Who I'm the not fuck that listens fucking to pretentious. Who the fuck listens to this? No, not even that joke. <laughs> I'm not that pretentious to listen to myself speak. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Me he too. He says, looking up at his pipe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you have to narrate what you're doing because I can't see shit. <laughs> but I hope that was it was still running when you were gone, correct? I pretty much just said. Yeah, that, yeah, we were still rolling. Long story short, my view on statue is just whatever. There, there's a right and a wrong way how to handle that. Uh, I, like I understand your problem with it. 
but just, please also if handle it the right way. Listen, and like when you were gone, I pretty much just said, I'm a, you know, I understand that I, you know, I, I'm just one person. If, but I think if a statue is hurting you in a social, physical way for some reason, you need to get together with fellow people that feel the same way, contact your congressman or woman, do your, go, you know, go through the statue. That's why we have the government to do things like this and do something about it the proper way. Is it fast? Fuck no. Is it going to take a while? Most likely. Will is a chance that it might not happen? Probably not. But I think you should try. We we forget. We all want reaction. We're, we're Americans. We want shit now. We want it now. I'm going to go and piss on this statue right now because I'm a fucking American. Okay? I'm going to use my, my AR-15. <laughs> I'm going to go do this shit. No. We need to stop and just realize that we have things lined up in life that we do this. And trust me, I don't like politics. I hate talking about it. I, I don't even want to fucking communicate with anybody about politics sometimes. But I know that if I'm going to do this, I got to do it the right way. And honestly, people will more respect you. As a community, if you are a part of a community that don't like something, you need to get together with them. You need to do this. I mean, that's my rant. Sorry. There's... There is a value to that, but it's also incredibly short-sighted. It, it doesn't look back far enough. Yeah. Uh, I will absolutely agree that there's been too much bloodshed, period, on every side of every altercation, period. Like, that, we've just lost too many humans over stupid shit. And oh, yeah. those people could have been Nikolai Tesla. They could have been Elon Musk. We, we've just lost so much potential over no nonsense. It, it, is your daughter okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, she. I guess. I'm... My wife's out there. She's on the phone. It's okay. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> uh, so, like, I I genuinely see value in any position that says and and earnestly from a good place, stop the fucking bloodshed, stop mm -hmm. the nonsense that can cause bloodshed. Enough is enough. I mean, I will always value that. Yeah, I'm just I just. I mean, no matter what, there's going to be people out there that hate everything you do. There's going to be people that hate what you do. And uh, you... Like, uh, Rob, like, one human was alive at a time when it can legitimately be argued black people were not free still. <laughs> oh, I know. They didn't have the franchise in any real capacity until the 60s like there are people alive that remember that expecting them to turn to government who used to engage in that fucking behavior themselves th that you know, that's a long that's a hard ask you wanna you want me to um i don't talk about racism that much and uh that's because I, I, I don't really care too much about it. I mean, I know it exists, unfortunately. Um, I think it's funny if I when I get into argument with um, people that are really like really racist, and they're just like, "Oh, I hate you know this person. I hate this person." You know what I usually tell them? I said, 90% of the product that you use in your life, either a house, car, peanut butter. I mean, anything from food." was probably made by someone you don't like <laughs> so you have to understand that like if you're true if you're truly that hateful you should just go live naked out in the woods <laughs> because like oh god yeah like i mean this... why what the fuck are we hating each other for and that's just it's just funny this country was okay so this country was built I mean, you can argue with this a little bit. This is the last thing I'll say about this. I don't want to get too much into it. But this country, I mean, we had slaves hundreds of years ago. 
what did they do for us? They built us house. They built us, you know, this. We did this. You know, they they set the groundwork. Even to this day, we have, you know, so many different cultures that live in the United States, you know, building product, building this, this, that, that. This is the land of the free. So when people are just so racist, it just it boggles my mind. They're just like, but yet you, you know, you drive a Hyundai. You know where that was made? Not here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Um, it just it, it blows my mind. I've I've never understood the mentality either. It it doesn't. It just fundamentally doesn't make sense to me. If and if you we want are to compatible know, enough genetically to breed, we're the same. Yeah, that's, if you that's wanted, the end of it. Yeah, and if you want to know why I just I said something about racism is because, you know, part, a lot of the statues that we have in America unfortunately represented a bad time, which is mostly yeah. about you know, slavery and things like that. And I understand why people want to take them down a hundred percent. No argument there. But like I said, there is a better way of doing it. If you want to protest, there's a better way of doing things, but you know, I don't know. Um, yeah. Captain America. I'm going to tear that shit down. <laughs> I'm not stopping you. <laughs> well, if there's a statue of Thor, <laughs> you know, the better of the Avengers. I mean, he was a God. Come on. Uh, yeah, you, North, you're playing North one mythology. close to my heart. Come on, you, you're playing one too close to my heart. There, I, I've got to cede that. I, I might uh, stop you if it were uh, Thor proper. Hey, I wanted I wanted to bring this up in riding the, uh, his goat. <laughs> I wanted to bring this up in the last uh, podcast. Um, so here in uh, North Carolina, um, today was a special day. I mean, South Carolina. I live in South Carolina. Oh, my God. Here in South Carolina, it was a very special day here in Myrtle Beach. Horry County um, just got voted uh, – well, the city of Myrtle Beach just got a, a voted and approved that it was a, an autistic city. So what that means is that they're going to be – we just got a thing in the mail because our daughter is registered as autistic by the, um, by the U.S. government. She gets Medicaid, and we just got a thing in the mail, so we'll get this card. It's called, it's like a CMP or C, I don't, I can't remember the initials, but with this card, we can go to restaurants and if it's too loud or if they have a certain menu for autism, because the thing about autism is they have to eat like gluten-free stuff. Um, you show them that card. Not only do you get discounted, you get seated fair first, you get seated in a nice quiet area and you get a special menu. And now since the city approved that, <laughs> everywhere is going to be doing it. Everywhere. You go to McDonald's. Shut this fucking music off. <laughs> I had no idea that autism carries with it a gluten sensitivity. Um, so it's 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 probiotics. They really they really look into it's. There's this there's this. Uh, I didn't think uh, there was an interrelation between one's bioflora and autism. Well, we're, it's it's kind of we're still they're still learning about it but there's news articles all the time and then yeah. our doctor talks about it all the time there's there's a link thing with food and adhd autism any kind of like uh special needs or anything that needs like you know like even depression there's a there's a link between food and depression and they 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 haven't really figured it out too much they definitely feel like if you give your child with autism more probiotics or more of a you know reason why we started the keto diet is mostly because of her because if we got rid of you know carbs it would help her out because there's a documentary on netflix um their daughter had all she's exactly like my daughter actually it makes me cry every time i watch it but they stopped they put her on the keto diet and then two weeks later she started talking now she's in normal middle school doing normal homework and has a boyfriend. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, sometimes so like, it clears up. You know, but now this is just one case. Could be totally different things. But with that said, they just they have special menu stuff, easy, easy fast things, because you know, it's all about fast because there's no patience when it comes to you you know, one thing I've learned because I have ADHD, I kinda know a little bit about the autism because it's it's kinda there, but you know there's but then there's, you know, broad of autism. But part of autism is that you can't sit still, you can't concentrate on one situation, so they try to make everything fast. And the whole sound thing is really big. Like we have uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, because I live in a tourist area, but they have Ripley's Aquarium, 
And every Saturday they have sensor friendly day, which they turn all the lights up and there's no music, but you can still walk through the aquarium because, you know, nighttime when the lights are low, they're scared. I mean, they just, you know, you just have to put yourself in their shoes. But with that said, now, I mean, they're going to offer so much stuff for this city and it's amazing. You know, I, I'm still not keen on living here too much, but for my daughter, I love this place. So I will always be here because of her. So it just, it's just, it happened today. So I just wanted to bring it. It was great. Good for them. You know, I just think, um, I didn't go to the ceremony today. I know you get me to go, but I had some other things <laughs> to take care yeah. of. <laughs> I'm, yeah, well, we'll I was talk about that next time. <laughs> yeah, I was going to record it. So. It was cool. I did get a bracelet though from a restaurant. Nice. Yeah, like restaurant. I mean, well, everywhere you go, they do every grocery store in Myrtle Beach, they do this thing where if like you're spending $6.75, would you like to run up to the dollar or go to autism? I mean, there's other causes out there, but a lot of them just go towards all. Huh. So, yeah. And that means a lot to me because that affects me. Now, my, my grandfather has cancer, so that also affects me too, but. <sighs> is what it is. <laughs> well, that was a beautiful note to end on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so. Uh, thank do you need you. a cut for the recording? No. You Roll us out, Rob. I just want to say, I just want to say thank you once again for everyone, you know, liking, sharing, spreading the word. Um, if you would like a, uh, tell your family. You know, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we will notify you guys as soon as we get the Patreon up. And definitely um, all the, you know, if you want a sticker, if you want to represent us, just contact Alex or I. I live in South Carolina. He lives in Maryland. So if you're around that area, definitely let us know. Um, but don't show up at my house. Don't show up at his house. Uh, I will put Holy his address shit. on the, I will put his address on the Facebook link. Um, definitely, you know. I, I, I'm watching you, Rob. <laughs> as soon as I put it up, gone. <laughs> Delete. I'll put my address up. Fuck, come, come to Myrtle Beach. I dare you. <laughs> Why invite that? Mm -hmm. But no. So we have some cool things. But yeah, definitely. Um, honestly, I might. You know, I, we just want you guys to enjoy these podcasts, and you know, it's gonna be fun. So definitely share. And I appreciate. We both appreciate this. So straight up, it's pretty. I good. always wanted to. I like saying stuff like that, saying thank you. Because if it wasn't for you guys, we'd be just two dads talking about nothing. <laughs> Wait a minute. Like we do, anyway. Hello, hello. <laughs> so, okay, you can. Good night. Good